Hey, hello. Welcome back. This is what we call the parlay of the day. This is where I sit down and use the Odd Shopper premium tool, the one you'll get a free week for below, the one that we use and, and you use successfully and all that other stuff, and build a three-leg parlay. The only rules of this video, then we ask you to hit the thumbs up, subscribe. That's given. That's anywhere you are on YouTube. The only real rules that are hard and fast here on this video, this welcoming you into my world, has to be three legs and has to be plus 500 minimum minimum we don't slide in here three legs of work at plus 300 or plus 250 or even money anything like that we make it worth your while just like everything we do here including what's happening over at caesars where i, I just come on 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 21 or older gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER first bets on caesars up to what $1,250. I'll show you how you can use that in a minute. Let's build the parlay first. Today we're on Fandle. We're building it there. At the time in which I'm building, this is where the best opportunity is for us. And it begins with fading Al Horford doing things. Al Horford had 11 rebounds in game five. 11. Now, I don't care how you see this game playing out. I don't know how you could see it where Al Horford once again it's double-digit rebounds. In fact, seven rebounds kills this. And he's had seven-plus in two straight games. Uh-oh. What do we do here? We fade. We go right back to fading who he's been leading up to that. In losses. Anticipating a Miami win or a tight game for Miami means most likely limited or, or limited either minutes or limited minutes and activity from Horford. So this is fine. We open up going under six and a half rebounds for Al. Again, I have no problem with the fact that he had a monster game last time outside of scoring, of course, because I don't expect the same result on the floor tonight. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, we've targeted this game two times over in the NRFI video and in the leans and locks video. Both are active here on the YouTube channel. And, and look, I know I'm on here way too much. Trust me. It's, it's not my doing, but it's my loving. So you, you are going to get a lot of me until somebody tells me not to, because it ain't going to be me that says I'm doing too much. Sorry, but we're going over four and a half Ks for tie on here. Cubs. All right, let's look at the Reds lineup away from small park. Mind you. Fairchild, Barrero, uh, Stevenson, You've got some guys here that will offer up the K, even steer right there. Now, some of these guys are going to be a little bit more difficult to strike out. I understand that. It also depends on who's out there. But for the most part, anybody catching, as I mentioned, Tyler and beyond is going to strike out. You've got even Nick Senzel, man. Nick Senzel is not a bucket by any means, automatic at least. You can strike him out. There's an opportunity here for Tyon to build on a okay. Decent 21.3 K rate. No problem there. Over four and a half K's for Tyon. As a reminder, let me just quickly remind you here. You're going to get this tool for free. I'm using it. You know, I'm using it. You know, I'm using it successfully. Why not jump on this thing? Seriously? Like it's, it's so cool. I love it. I'm up a bunch, nearly 40 units since tracking in the past two months. It's insane. I, it's just ridiculously insane. It's easy. Here's a free week. Why not just jump in? That's all. Just just jump in. Last leg here for you. Seriously, I, I don't know why you wouldn't just take a week and try it and see it. Build parlays, prize picks, all the other fun stuff that we have on here. Last play is going to be Edward Cabrera under six and a half Ks. Now, Cabrera can definitely get up there with some Ks. He's got an opportunity to strike out a guy like Mike Trout basically every time that they face each other. There's also the ability for LA to just get to him. You know, the Angels can just get to Cabrera, and that's a big thing in its own right where you're not relying so much at at least the standpoint of Cabrera striking everybody out 29 and a half K rate. This walk rate's high. These guys on LA, they smack when they make contact. It's not just Shohei and Trout. They can smash away here. I mean, it's definitely Shohei and Trout. Don't get me wrong. But you've got a couple of other guys that can lift. Renfro, Drury. Like, you've got guys that can put bat 
on ball and make things difficult for Cabrera. So under six and a half is absolutely fine for us. We have met the criteria plus 532 are three plays there. Horford under six and a half boards, tie on over four and a half K's and under six and a half K's for Edward Cabrera. Easy game. That's what we like to do here. Make it short and simple for you. Now, as I mentioned, what's going on here on Caesars before you get out of here, your first bets on Caesars up to 1250 bucks. So sign up, put your information in, takes what 45 seconds to do all that. You put a deposit in anywhere from 10 to 1250. If you want to put max it out at 1250 bucks, knowing that your first bet is back on Caesars, if it misses, put it on Xander Bogarts to hit a home run at plus 1100. What? Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Oh, put it on Kim. That's fine. Put it on Kim. It's going to look even better if Kim hits a home run. I mean, my goodness, man. You're talking about 16,250 bucks or 500 bucks. Sorry, 16,500. That's insane. 16 large for a just a bonus bet right back. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. We haven't hit a parlay in a couple of days. I get it. I understand. You're not happy. I'm not happy. I'm betting these two. 